coming to you again with another daily fantasy basketball prize picks uh, strategy and picks for the day. Um, yesterday was, it wasn't a bad day, but it wasn't a good day. There was a ton of times two and a ton of t- times 0.4 for our picks, but uh, it was... It, it basically broke even yesterday just because a few people just sold the bag um, or shot horribly. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to start off the video by once again thanking all of you for the support lately. We've been growing like crazy. We're almost to 4,150 subscribers. And uh, I, I'm i trying to bring you guys picks each and every day that will get you guys money in your pockets. So um, hopefully we can hopefully we can win today. Um, but if you could, and it would mean a lot, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to head right in. This was the pick that I made last night when the Lions opened. I really like it. It's a four-team flex. De- uh, Deontay Murray's line has since moved up to eight and a half assists. I think he's going to be a lock uh, tonight, especially with Derek White going on COVID protocol. Seth Curry over five assists. With Tyrese Maxey out again, Seth Curry seems to be the primary ball handler for the team, the primary point guard, even with Cormox, I guess, technically being the point. But yeah, uh, this one just confused me. I don't know if I'm getting sold or tricked, but Jacob Pirtle has had over tw- 11 assists in four of his last five games, and he had seven in the other one. I just think with him going against Philly and going against Embiid that he'll have the over on the rebounds. It'll be a battle between them two. So I, I just I gotta go Jacob Pertle getting over that. Uh then Embiid, he's had over thirty points in the last five games. I don't think that changes today, especially with them missing a few of their offensive pieces. Uh and San Antonio is known for defending guards and forwards pretty well. So I think uh Joel's gonna just do what Joel normally does. Um then we have the pick that I made this morning. I really like it. Uh, Vucevic over 11 and a half. I don't think anything changes with their offense. I don't know if Tony Bradley is coming back today, but Vucevic has been putting up rebound numbers. I think 11 and a half is low enough to be confident that he'll get it. Uh, Jokic, I think you'll see later. I also have Jokic's points for the day. Uh, he's But on his rebounds, he's had over 15 in four of his last five games. And I think he'll take advantage of a small uh, Sacramento team today who's still missing uh, Rashawn Holmes. Uh, I think Jokic is going to be their one driving factor today. So, yeah. Uh, LeBron over 30 and a half. I think, I don't know if Trey's back today. He might still be in protocol. But uh, I think LeBron's going to have to go off to keep them above this team because I don't think we're going to have another night from, like, THT and Bradley, who are going to step up. I just don't. They're too inconsistent. Uh, Zach Levine over two and a half threes. He seems like he's money from this line lately. Um, whether he gets to the overall point total, that's for up, up for debate. I didn't bet on it today for him, but I think the two and a half has to be a lock because he shoots so many threes. So, mm-hmm. And then obviously I bid, did De- De- Deontay Murray again because... Eight and a half and eight are damn near the same thing. You're betting on nine, essentially. Um. Then, okay, so this is my uh, sharp pick that I got from a few people that I trust. I It's a couple players I normally wouldn't bet on, but they said Aaron Gordon over six and a half in the first half. Funny enough, I have Aaron Gordon under his fantasy score total. I don't know if I bet on it, but we'll see. But he usually gets all of his points early if he does. So, seven points early. We'll see. Malik Monk over 16.5. I do still like that because him and LeBron have a pretty good uh, 1-2 together. Uh, Giddy, I think Giddy's probably going to lead the team in rebounds today. uh, Just because they're playing a slightly bigger team in Minnesota. Um, And Giddy's been more known for his rebounds than his assists. Even though he's an all-around player, so... Then you got Pirtle again and Zach Levine again on this one. And then on this, as you can see, so I bet Gordon over first half points, but I think his under overall fantasy score will hit just because he seems to get lost in the mix in the second half a lot, and I just don't really trust him to go over. Um, then we got DeMar DeRozan. DeMar's... He, 
DeMar is a tough one. He's a, he, he threads that line right between 24 and 28 points every game. But I'm going to have confidence. He shoots the ball so much it's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to lean with him over today. Then we got Deontay Murray, Seth Curry again. Tyrese Halliburton, after having one bad game with two assists, I mean, he went off scoring, but with only two assists in one game, they dropped his projected assists by one and a half from the nine that it was at the other day or two days ago. I think today he gets over seven and a half. Seven and a half. I think he goes back to his, uh, back to his uh, passing. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, this is my straight scoring lineup. This one's just your favorites. Uh, this is probably one that most people are going to be doing today just because they like the names. Vanderbilt, I just don't like him over six and a half. He's, he's going to get his run time. He's going to get his rebounds. The dude doesn't usually take more than five shots a game, and he shoots 40% from the field. Um, I, he doesn't shoot threes at all. So as long as he's not turned into like the primary ball handler, we should be fine. Uh, Anthony Edwards over 21.5. The dude takes so many shots, and OKC isn't very good at defense. Uh, I think Anthony gets it easily. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Giannis, Kevin, and Joel. I think Giannis and Kevin will go off because they're going to be facing each other tonight. Uh, that'll It'll just be a good competition. And then uh, Embiid, I already covered why I think he'll do good. That's CSGO. And then my last pick for the day is Jokic over 27.5. See, this is an interesting stat. He's had under 27.5 in five straight games. But in those five straight games, he's gone against bigger uh, front court teams and they play pretty good defense on the interior. I think he destroys Sacramento's interior defense because they just look at what Dwight Howard did to their interior. Uh, when they played Sac, just look at what Dwight Howard did the other night in like 20 minutes of play. He had like 10 rebounds, 10 points. He just demolished them down low. And I think Jokic is going to have a field day down there. Levine again, Curry again, Murray again, and Pirtle again. So this is the, these f- top four picks are probably my locks. Mm-hmm. If I was going to say anything, I just I feel confident in them. I mean, I let today. I feel very strong about almost all my picks. This is one of my better days. I'm hoping I could be completely wrong again, and we could just hit another dud. But I gotta hope that one of these days it's going to go back to where we were just taking straight dubs because Prize Picks got its money back. So. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping in. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.